Alright, so I was gonna attempt the Spiral Abyss anyways, so I kinda wanted to do a video on how I kinda tackle the Spiral Abyss, and I'm gonna go through it floor by floor. Because I know a lot of people find it kinda daunting. I know when my wife wanted to do the Spiral Abyss at first, she just kinda straight up ignored it because it was kind of annoying. I think the hardest part about it is probably just forming two teams to begin with. Um, for the most part, what the advice I kind of gave her and other people that asked me is when it comes to the Spiral Abyss from floor 9 to 11 you probably don't ever really have to worry about it since as long as you build your characters you probably won't ever have any issues with it and as long as you just keep progressing and gearing them or and ascending them you should be able to clear it most of the time it's floor 12 that most of the time I think uh, when I first started playing I started struggling with uh, so the one thing you kind of have to realize is the reason why it shouldn't matter too much about fully clearing is for the most part, since it is a gacha game, the the blessing here re pretty much uh, changes every reset. So sometimes it might feel easier to you, sometimes it might feel harder. So I wouldn't let it get you down too much if you can't fully clear uh, floor 12 all the time, especially for three stars on every single chamber. Uh, I started the game like four months ago. I'm able to most of the time clear 9 to 11 like fully in three stars on each level. And uh, so let's start with floor 9, right? So with floor 9, again, if you just build your team, you could probably just use any team you really want to. I think the thing I struggled with the most when I first started playing the game would be monsters like these fat guys. The fire, the ice and the water guy, these guys both do, uh, they have like a shield as well as uh, they freeze you as well too. They do a lot of damage. And then uh, this guy also shields as well. And then uh, the electro mage, that kind of was a lot of, a really big issue for me early on as well too. I think the way the tackle was either one to have just like more damage or... You run something like cryo to freeze them and gather them around since they teleport a lot. But for the most part, as long as you kind of gear yourself more, you probably wouldn't have any issues. Uh, so what I normally do is, especially for the fat guys, I normally run whichever chamber they're in. I run uh, fire for them, so I run like uh, Shangling and Bennett for it. So in this case, most of the time my team would be like probably like Shangling, Bennett, Child, and... Uh, Shinchu, and then for my other team, I normally just run my Geo team. So, so for floor nine, it really shouldn't matter. We should probably just blast through it without any issues. Let's see, uh, her, and then we'll probably run Goro. I mean, so let's just see. We shouldn't have any issues. All right. So the buff really doesn't matter most of the time. It's really up to you for the first few levels. Normally for this stage with the archers, I would normally go for the archers first since uh, the archers is the one that gives you the most issues and then those slimes back there normally just gather. They'll come to you so you really don't have to do anything to go to them. So you'll go after the archers first. I noticed on stage, uh, stage 9 is normally pretty much the same setup. It's normally the later stages that change. Which would be like 11 and 12. So here. After the first archers die, the second archers is as you the ones I just killed. Those are the frost archers and normally you either want to jump or dash out away. Because if they hit you with those uh, frost arrows, you actually freeze. And if you're not really geared at the time, it'll actually... Uh, eat up a lot of your time and you'll waste being frozen and especially if you're not here you might not reach the timers which reaching the timers is the main issue as you see on the left side of the screen where you have to reach the timers in order to get the full three stars and then between you get these breaks where you can just like kind of take a break if you find it a little bit overwhelming so this stage not too big of an issue since uh, these guys walk to you so one thing I notice is if you have a lot of issues with time, it's mainly uh, just learning these levels and kind of like which monsters to go for first, right? So with these guys, they run to you, really not an issue. But then when you have multiple units that spawn, right? 
So I would normally tackle the ones that don't have a shield first, so like the shamans. Shamans I've noticed normally have are like a, they eat up a lot of your time. And they do a lot of annoying things like they like the Dendro one spawns like the vines and then um you have the the one that heals. So again, see, you got three stars for chamber one, so we're going to chamber two. I'll try to kind of point out like uh, water strategies, I guess, uh, what to go for first and how to tackle it. Especially if like it's monsters that like group up. Defense, uh, we'll just go for overall attack. So when the buffs, you see that some of them apply only to this chamber. So when it only applies to this chamber, so it's just this specific floor. So if you go to chamber three, which is the last chamber, it won't apply to it. So if you go to effective for this floor, it'll go for all three chambers, all three stages that you do. So this one is the, normally the fat guys, right? So if you, what I do recommend is if you could get the free unit, um, choose Shangling, and then if you have Bennett, even better. So what you could do is you could just kind of go straight for the fat guys, as long as you just kind of gear them up. As long as you gear up Shangling and Bennett, you should have no issues with those fat guys at all. If you didn't gear up Shangling and you're having troubles with the Abyss and you, you know, you really do want to clear it, then just gear Shangling. Like pretty much with her Q, once you start gearing her up, you won't have any issues at all. It was when I didn't really gear a fire unit, I couldn't burn through that shield fast enough. That's when I had issues. And then they kept killing me over and over again. And I just couldn't figure out why and I found it really frustrating. It was the same thing I recommended my wife as. Oh, so with this team, this stage, what I recommend is uh, there's these like guys like that throw bombs. The another test subject dudes. You want to go for them first, since uh, the other melee guys will run straight towards you, so you don't have to worry about them that much. So as long as you go straight for these guys, if the other guys spawn, they'll come to you anyways. Same here. You see these melee guys here. We'll go for the range one. Stabilize. I will have order. I did just get Shangli as well too, so it kind of made my life easier with the Geo team. Whereas previously, sometimes I run uh, double cryo with them. So these guys kind of group up, so it doesn't matter. And there's only three. Order guide you. All right, so down to the last floor again. F floor nine really isn't really that big of a deal. If you're struggling with it, then for the most part, what you probably need to do is just gear your characters more. Since uh, now that I geared them a lot more uh, over the course of like the four months since I started the game, the main issue really is um, gearing them. And then if you don't have enough gear for the first two floors, like floor nine, floor ten. Then you're gonna have a really hard time on the last one. Oh, I probably should have betting two first. Sorry. Because at this point, like, I don't really even have to worry about the timers for these early floors, even without having everyone like fully geared. I'll show the gear towards the end, and then um, so you get a better idea of you know, kind of like like a benchmark point. Like, you don't have to be like super whale in order to clear these things. Kind of like for the most part, what I think Spyro Abyss, the people need to realize is when it comes to the Spyro Abyss, you kind of just need to take it one step at a time and not worry too much about it. Oh, if I'm not clearing, do I need to switch characters or anything like that? Most of the time it's because you need to spend more time gearing your characters rather than worrying about, oh, do I have the right characters or not. Of course there's like specific cases later on where um, in the later floors you do need specific characters, especially with those uh, Abyss mages where they have the shields, I mean the heralds, whatever they're called.
All right, so that's floor nine. And then that's all three floors. And then next would be floor 10. And uh, I'll continue there. So one thing I forgot was to actually show the gear on my characters, just to kind of give you an idea of um, what level of gear I'm at when clearing this. So with Shanling, I actually crowned her Q. And then her E, I think I have at like level 9 or something like that, or 8. And then with the weapon, I'm using the catch, which you get from just doing fishing in Inazuma. So anyone can really get that. And you don't have to pay to get that weapon. So with her, I'm running kind of just like an emblem set. I actually just fully upgraded it. And I didn't even finish her uh, hourglass yet. They're not like perfect stats, so her crit and crit rate are still like at 52% and uh, 75% and have like 267% energy recharge. I'm actually not sure if that's too much. And hopefully in the future I do get like better goblets on her. And then uh, with Bennett, honestly I didn't even really level his stuff. It was like at level 10, 11, 17, and the stats are just random stats. I mainly just wanted to stack HP on him. I think he could go attack, but as a buffer, it really doesn't matter from what I've seen. And um, I do plan to crown his uh, Q. As for his normal attack, you don't have to worry about his E, you could level it. Uh, Xingqiu... He has like the worst gear out of all of my characters. He kind of had just getting like leftovers. He's using like a purple feather right now, a purple hourglass, uh, a level five goblet. So I probably could be doing a lot better. Um, he has a plus four uh, circlet. I should probably fix these. And then on my child, I actually don't have a really good set. Uh, I'm running the hydro set. I actually spent 60 fragile resin from leveling up uh, to farm this and they're not even that good. I ended up getting like really, really, really bad stats on him. I don't even have a Hydro Goblet, which I probably should fix. And then his crit rate is 73% crit, 81% crit damage. Weapon, I'm using uh, the Viridescent Hunt, the Battle Pass weapon. Ben, I'm using the Sacrificial Sword. And then Xingqiu, I'm also using a Sacrificial Sword. And then my other team would be... Uh, Goro, which uh, I'm using just a Favonius bow, and then just, I think all his, uh, I'm running Noblesse on him, and they're not really like anything good. I think I'm just mainly stacking defense on him. I, I have him at level 70, and then uh, talent-wise, I have it at 166. And then for my Albedo, I'm using the weapon that they just gave, and artifact-wise, I'm using two-piece Petra, I think. And then, yeah, the two-piece Petra. I lucked out with the defense on this. And then uh, for the... I'm also running two-piece uh, emblem for whatever reason because I did, guess I just don't have anything better. I haven't had time to actually farm the husk. So at the moment, I'm just using a defense goblet and a defense uh, sands. I think you're supposed to use a geo goblet, but... For the time being, I feel like uh, I'm doing enough damage, so it doesn't matter too much. Talent-wise, I did crown his uh, his E, and then his Q is at eight, level 8. And then John Lee, I just pulled him. I actually went and pulled a Homa for him. Artifact-wise, I went for a full set of uh, Emblem of Sever Fate. Got Geo Goblet. I'm running the energy recharge sands on him. I think you're supposed to run an HP or an attack, which I just don't have one at the moment. His stats are probably like the best out of all my characters, 68% and 200%. Oh, for the Albedo, the stats were the crit and crit rate. Probably could have higher crit damage, but I just don't have anything better. And the energy recharge is 146. And then for my Noel, I'm running full gladiators with a uh, Geo Goblet. I probably could be running Husk on these characters and be doing a lot better. And then uh, for the talents, 
I haven't crowned any of it yet. I probably do plan to crown Noel, and then for the weapon for her, I use Skyward Pride. You could be using something else. I like Skyward Pride because of the energy recharge, and I just end up getting it. I probably could end up running a White Blind for defense, but at the moment, I feel like I like having her ult up a lot more than doing a lot more damage. For me, I just find it a lot more comfortable. I could also be running, uh, I see a lot of people running Serpent Spine. I'm kind of in between about run doing that, so... But for the time being, I do like just having her ult up for most of the time. Other times I do actually run Kaya and Chi Chi, which I might end up doing on a later level with those uh, Abyss Mages. With Kaya and Chi Chi, I use them for the freeze to get rid of the shields, depending on the element. And then for them, I run Sacrificial Sword on both of them. And then uh, I think I'm on Chi Chi, I'm running two Police Snow Bless and two Beats uh, Blizzard Shrayer. They're not the best pieces, but it just gets things done. And then on Kaya, I'm running full Blizzard Shrayer. As a support, I don't think you really need to run full Blizzard Shrayer on him. Uh, but it's kind of like the best set that I have. Alright, so that's pretty much it. And then uh, I'll continue on with uh, Floor 10 on the next video.